Hey guys, it's Bradley for What's in the Box. Got home from the Northwest largest garage sale today with my buddy Andrew. We went up there early, early. Uh, he was driving. It was his turn to drive to an event. So he, uh, he, yeah, he drove. We went up to Washington, Ridgefield, Washington, to the Northwest largest garage sale. I had originally asked him, well, what time do you want to come over? He said, I'll be at your house at 5 a.m. And I thought he was just joking with me. So a couple days after he told me that, I said, oh, okay, what time are you really coming over? He goes, 5 a.m. I said, okay. So I set the alarm, 4.30, got up. He called me at like 4.45, said, I'm on my way to your house. I said, all right, let's do this then. We loaded up. Uh, it was about an hour and 20 minute drive up to Ridgefield, Washington. And the Northwest largest garage show, which they do only twice a year now. They used to do it three times, but... We uh, we found some goods, man. We found a lot of goods. Some stuff I'm keeping. Some stuff I'm reselling. Um, this video will be for non-comic books. Um, but still some comic-related items, maybe. Or a character. So, let's go with the big, the big poster here. I bought this. Amazing Spider-Man poster. It's pretty cool. Um... I only paid 10 bucks for that and uh, I'll end up probably throwing it in my summer garage sale for uh, 20 25 maybe something like that so that thing's pretty cool I like it but I don't like it enough to uh, keep it and this on the other hand Iron Man I'm a big Iron Man character I love Iron Man I only paid five dollars for this so that was a, that's a definite keeper for me on that one. We'll go to the bag I got over here. We'll go through the bag. So we've got. Sounds like something might have broke down there. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. We got a Dale Earnhardt model. I paid uh, this price is t price at ah I cannot talk today. Price tag says 10 The guy was doing half off everything that was in his booth when we were walking through. So I paid $5 for that. Not bad. Turtles. I love turtles. So whenever I see stuff, I tend to pick it up. So there's this little turtle guy, which I believe I've got a couple of these from Hawaii already. When I was there, it's a little turtle. This thing, you know, just cheap, a little metal, metal tin piece. I think I paid a dollar each for these. And then I picked up this turtle here, which I didn't realize that the tail had broken off at some point. I didn't see that when I grabbed it. So um, I don't know if it broke off when he was packaging it or later or whatever, but that's still not bad. I'll, t I'll still take him with the broken tail. He's just got a little stubby tail. I paid $2 for that. I have no real use for it, whatever container this is, but I like turtles. I have a I have affiliation. With um, I started collecting some military stuff on and off. This says Expert Rifle United States Navy. I thought that was kind of cool. I paid a dollar for that, that badge medal. This says Expert Pistol Shot United States Navy. So those are kind of cool. Uh, same guy that had the model, had these things, he had this on his $5 table, he had these white boxes, and move the turtles over here. Um, so I bundled all these together, and uh, I paid 10 bucks for all these. We have a... I'm not going to take it out of the package. I'll leave it in the package. To Obi Wan, I believe, Ghost Obi Wan figure. These are in these little mail order boxes, so I thought that was kind of cool. I paid ten bucks for all this, so two fifty a piece, basically, because I got two of these. There's another one right there. Should be an Obi Wan ghost. My buddy was trying not to get confused with uh, packaging because we all put them in the same box. And then this thing 
is like this this spider drone looking thing not quite sure what that is I thought that was interesting it's a uh, get the freaking manual going here it's a spider however you pronounce that and that's instructions on how to put it together I thought that was kind of cool again five bucks this will be part of a uh, trade maybe or I'll sell it not quite sure about these yet what I'm gonna do with this this I can get like I said it was five dollar on his five dollar table he was doing half off 250 might as well picked it up all right what else we got in the bag over here 911 tribute book big old book um, this is one of the saddest days in our history um, when the Twin Towers fell. So I usually pick up 9-11 merchandise, tribute stuff, whatever you want to call it, um, memorabilia. I paid uh, $3 for this big book. So that's a definite keeper for me. I'm not going to be selling that. I picked up a stamp the other day in a, in a estate sale that's uh, keeping as well. This is cool. I like Predator. The seven inch jungle hunt predator. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the guy had it for 10. Uh, I said, How about seven? He took it at seven. So, this is going into the collection as well. Let's see, what do we got left here that's non comic related? Knife. Picked up a camo survival knife. Now, I've got one of these that's all black. So, this one, I think I paid 10 bucks for it kind of cool it's got all the survival stuff should have it yep still got it in there well it's kind of packed in there it's it's in there you can kind of see it in there it's packed in there pretty tight so this one I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it I haven't decided yet I said I've got ones that are black so there's that picked up uh this 65 Land Rover Generation 2. I think a, a dollar for this guy. And then um, ran into one of my buddies up there. Another comic book guy. Uh, our uh, We were trying to beat him up to the estate, uh, up to the sale. We ended up beating him up there. But he still found better books than us. But that's what happens when you've got the veteran versus the rookie and the other rookie. But he found these awesome Goonie glasses for me. Um... He picked them up and handed them over to me when he ran into me. So I'm very appreciative that he got that one. And this one, these are very cool. 1985 Sloth and the Goonies. And this is data on the water side. So now I'm going to have to hunt to see if there's any more of these and complete the whole set. I think he said he paid five bucks a piece for these and didn't charge me any more on those. So. Uh, I appreciate him looking out for me on that. Thank you, Bradley Zendowski. So, there is the haul for the non-comic book stuff. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you guys go to large garage sales? Do you guys go to estate sales? Do you guys go to auctions? Do you guys hunt at all anywhere? What do you guys hunt for? I love turtles, goonies, um, predator stuff. Star Wars stuff, military, I've got too many stuff I hunt for, so it can get expensive. I spent way too much money today. Like I said, some of this stuff I'll probably resell. Some of the stuff like these, definitely keeping. Um, wait till you see the comics I got. Good haul on the comics today. Again, spent too much. Had fun though. That was the main point. I went out with a buddy, hung it. Uh, excuse me, hung out all day. And just got out of the house. It wasn't work. It wasn't in front of the TV. It wasn't on the cell phone. Well, kind of on the cell phone a little bit. Checking on some prices. But um, had fun, fun, man. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. I appreciate all my subscribers. I believe I'm up to 179. So I appreciate all you guys. Um, yeah, that's it, man. Peace out. Till the next one. Later.